now to a shocking discovery inside an Irving restaurant. Police are trying to find a woman they say gave birth in the restroom and left the baby behind. Yona Gavino is live at the Applebee's on North Beltline Road near 183 with the very latest. Yona. Robbie Irving, police tell us that a woman who they are still looking for tossed her baby inside a trash can here at this Applebee's. We spoke to community activists who say this could have been prevented. Irving police say 30 minutes after the mother left, employees cleaning the restroom found the deceased newborn. It's an outcome Patsy Summy has worked nearly 20 years to prevent. Maybe she felt the baby was dead. Still, this was not the right thing to do. She advocates for babies born into tough situations. Since 1999, Texas' safe haven law has allowed mothers to voluntarily surrender a baby that's less than 60 days old over at a hospital or fire station without facing charges. What we would hope is that this child did not die in vain, that more people will know about the law, more people will become involved. This is something um, that everyone can help with. Also called the Baby Moses Law, it allows anyone in Texas to leave a newborn at an approved place. No questions asked. I was um, pretty shocked because we haven't had anything like that happen recently. In fact, I guess we're getting complacent thinking that everybody knows about this law. Patsy is asking the community to help spread the word, and she has a personal message for the mother who did this. You need to turn yourself in and face whatever you have to face, because this is not going to go away just because you get away with it. it it's going to be there in her soul for the rest of her life. Applebee sent us this statement. We are deeply saddened by this incident and are working with emergency personnel and local law enforcement to support their investigation. And meanwhile, as that investigation continues, police are asking anyone who may know something to give them a call. Live in Irving, Yona Govino, CBS 11 News.